So Webtoon about two months back announced that they were hosting a short story competition and the rules were pretty straightforward. There were two categories, namely the brain and the heart categories, where brain considers stories which would fall under the genre of thrillers or horror or anything that just gets the brain thinking really hard. And heart is, as you can tell, just consists mostly of romance stories or just things that pull on the heartstrings. So each short story that you submit requires a minimum of three chapters slash episodes and each needed to contain about 30 panels if I'm not wrong. So I submitted a story under the brain category and yesterday on the 24th I posted my third and final chapter for my entry into this competition. So I do feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. For the past month or two, I've been drawing every single day to try and get this out before the deadline, which is uh, June 30th, so, so it's in 6 days from now. And it's really fulfilling to have this thing out there in the world. So this video will be kind of both a promo for my own one, and also a time-lapse video for me to explain my process of drawing this 140, no, 130 or so page comic. Unfortunately, having a time-lapse of every single page would make this video upwards of 30 minutes long, so I decided to compile the time-lapses for some of my favourite pages while trying my best to keep spoilers to an absolute minimum just in case anyone wants to go through it or if one of my friends watches it. I based this story on an NPC in a Dungeons and Dragons campaign that I'm hosting for my schoolmates because I found that this particular NPC's backstory had the most potential out of other characters to be turned into an actual comic. And I wanted my players to be able to one day sort of look into his character without having him have to narrate it to them in character because some of this shit would be a little bit weird to just tell people without context. So to briefly sum up the plot summary, uh, here we go. This man over here is named Silas Grimaldi. Grimaldi was born in the forest of Ashgar, a large, ancient, and mystical forest. And you can imagine in D&D fashion, it's full of druids and fantastical beasts and the like. As a kid, Grimaldi always looked up to the soldiers of his country's military, and most notably, he admired the Golden Knights who can be likened to the Knights of the Round Table, and they were essentially just a group of elite soldiers that personally served the Emperor, and were the highest ranking members of his military. Grimaldi runs away from home at age 16 to enlist in the military to pursue this dream, and he trains for years, inevitably gets put on the front lines of a war and after a violent bloody victory. He is celebrated as a war hero by his nation, although he doesn't personally feel that there's anything to celebrate there. Nonetheless, Grimaldi is granted the title of the fifth golden knight. He should celebrate, and he should be happy, but he finds himself missing home, regretting the decisions of his past and questioning his place in the Empire's military. He's forced to further reflect on his position in all of this when his first assignment as a golden knight is to basically turn on his home and participate in its destruction. And that's about as far as I can get without delving into some of the details which I would consider to be more spoiler heavy. As for my process of drawing this comic, I stuck to a schedule of trying to turn out 3-4 to four pages a day, and time was really of the essence here, and not to mention I was also trying to complete online classes on Coursera while also trying to play Apex with my friends, and also trying to uh, DM for this D&D campaign that the story is based on. And at the start, I was very uncertain about how this comic would go, and I at one point considered scrapping it to turn it into a sort of side story for my actual existing webcomic, The Bygone Ghost. But then I decided against it because I could not drag out a 5 minute story into a 3 chapter epic. So the format of Grimaldi's backstory felt a lot more apt for a short story format. I also realized early on that my tendency to stick to cleaner, more certain and so-called finished line work would result in this comic taking way longer than humanly possible to get out by June 30th, 
So I decided to smack myself in the face and take a bit of a sketchier approach to the lines. Not something that I'm entirely comfortable with because I'm extremely inclined to go for cleanliness as you might probably be able to tell. But by the end of it, I had gotten pretty comfortable in drawing this more fast, efficient sort of style and I decided to forego shading and I made up for it by just fucking around with layer styles a lot to get the tone of the scene across. Although there were a few pages where minimal shading and rendering was necessary, be it for mood or for contrast, but for the most part, I was trying to think efficiently for this comic. I am also of the mindset that if you are drawing a comic for your own personal projects, such as just to release online a webcomic like this one, you shouldn't force every page to be illustration level quality. If you're doing it as part of work or as part of a school project, by all means, you have to go all out in that circumstance. But in a scenario like this, while the end result will look amazing, you will get burnt out and your pace will be so much slower. And in the case of something like this, which had a tight deadline, I was not willing to take that risk. I had about 40 days to draw a 120 page comic, so I was trying my best to consider quality while really, really stressing over quantity. So you can see, sometimes I really go all out on the background and other times it's just a bit of a gradient. I just did whatever I felt was necessary to get the overall mood and tone of the dialogue in this particular panel out. And obviously some of these panels ended up looking way better than others. Because it was also kind of heavily dependent on my mental state at the time and how stressed I was. Uh, absolute, could I have done a better job for this comic? Absolutely. If I could go back and redraw some of these pages, I would. But also, I do have to go release chapter 4 of my webcomic and plan session 14 of the D&D campaign that I have to run. So perhaps another time. I really enjoyed drawing this comic. Whereas my usual webcomic has a very, very, very long plot and I can go forward at like a snail's pace because of the weekly three-page upload schedule, I needed to release entire chapters at a time with this one, thinking ahead of time and looking at how well everything ties together. Feels like I'm releasing a full story with perhaps a bit of room for expansion afterwards, I felt like I'm slowly learning things about drawing comics like consistency because I feel that it's something I personally lack as an artist. And though I didn't exactly nail that here, it was a good practice for it nonetheless. I would do this again next year should the competition happen around the same time. Absolutely, it was fun. And I do feel like I improved a little bit in doing this. So to wrap things up, it would mean a lot to me if you could go onto Webtoon and subscribe to the story give each of the three chapters a like, maybe leave a quick comment because that's one of the criteria for the judging. And if you don't want to, that's fine as well, it's fine. Just go on to Webtoon, check out the other stories as well, do leave positive feedback for the others should you find some that you also enjoy. And I really did enjoy reading a few of these. And you do need to give the other entries credit as well. I do not view them as competitors because every single one of them has been made so well in this short time frame. And it's really cool to see everyone creating these new short stories and unleashing their potential. Despite the tight deadline, it's really fun. And I'm also very sorry I stopped uploading for like a solid two months again because I was drawing this comic. But I've got about like three videos that are currently in editing. So I, I will see everyone again soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Webtoon Short Story Competition and go vote for your favorite entries. Goodbye.